All right, tubes. Hexmex here. Progress on the old Clinton. I turned my uh, shop light off, so that way maybe the outside light's enough. The uh, garage light seems to be a little bit too bright for recording on my terrible, terrible phone camera. So here it is. I took the uh, magneto cover off of it. It's uh, can't see it because it's too dark, but it's sitting over there. Took uh, the whole front part of it off here. Got the points took down and everything and started looking in it and it looks pretty good on the inside. I, uh, while I was playing around with it, I'm going to plug my shop light back in now. Here we go. While I was playing around with everything, I found, of course, I found the cover for the valves. It was so covered up in gunk and goo that I couldn't really find out where it was. It's just got a... Got a little nut here on this, and then uh, there's a plate right here. This plate here is what holds it on. It's got a little breather hole there. Gasket looks pretty good. A little breather hole had uh, this weird little contraption in it here. Don't exactly know how it works, but looks like it's a little check valve spring. I don't know what it rests against, but I found it in there too. So, what can you do? But uh, the sump. That's two large 5 8 bolts, and uh, it came off pretty easy. It's filled with gasoline right now to clean out the goo, but the whole, uh, the whole left side, you can kind of see it, it looks kind of like uh, the beach. The whole left side of it has goo all the way up to where it bulges out on that uh, bolt seat down there at the bottom of the sump. But uh, after I pulled it out, let me flip this thing around here, started inspectifying the inside. See what I can find. <coughs> got the uh, got the dipper off, which is probably covered up by my towel now. I'm somewhat disorganized. Please don't hate me for it. But uh, got the dipper off. Pulled the uh, pulled the bearing cap off. Looked at it, and it's uh, it's not real bad. I had it cleaned off here. There's a real slight gouge right here towards the edge, but I don't think it'll really hurt anything. The The crank seems fine. It doesn't seem to have any places on it whatsoever. So uh, I'm in the process of tearing it down even farther. There's my old dipstick. I need to take it out. Let's see if I can do that here. Oh, she's a little bent. It's not good. I probably did that to tell you the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. There we go. Dips this out. But uh, yeah, cranks loose. Let's see here. Shove that piston out. Do that while you guys are here, so that way you can see me do a little bit of work on this thing. I've been doing most of it without any work, seeing as I don't have a tripod. It <clears throat> this thing weighs about 60 pounds. It seems like. Better take the crank out of the way. See if I can get my big old tubby fingers up in there and shove it up. There we go. And I uh, can't get it out with one hand, so I'll have to check back with you. See ya.